there won't be any shortage of athletes in this game. Florida and Miami are about to rumble for the Seminole War Canoe. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Miami is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Nice run there. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. They're about four yards away here on second down. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Well, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. He goes out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Nothing doing for the offense, and it's fourth down. They did a pretty good job of not letting the offense get much going on that possession. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle at the 33. The Hurricanes and their coaching staff are just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. When you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Nice run up the middle. And he throws it away. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 31. Listen to this place. Quick release, tight end, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Miami could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is away, it's long enough, and it's good! all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Miami's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Here's the halfback. Knocked out of bounds at the 32-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And he's tackled at the 35-yard line. And he's 
tackle after positive yardage. So the halfback gets the first down there with a five-yard carry. A little bit of over-pursuit by the defense gave him the room he needed to get the first. First and ten. Ball on their own 40. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That makes it second and ten. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And here's another third down. Wide receiver screen play. Looks like the defense was in man coverage there, fellas, and that's why they stopped that screen. Yeah, and when the secondary isn't dropping back into zone, it makes it difficult to have success with that kind of screen play. Oh, excellent punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Miami is up by three. He's got it out to his tight end. Tackle made the 39-yard line. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. They'll go with a toss right. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48-yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. From the 48-yard line, first down. Throws to the tight end, and that falls incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Looks for his tight end over the middle. And he hits him hard at the 36. Yeah, I think that was great determination up front by the offensive line. They realize that, hey, they're fighting for things right now, and everything they can get to be able to move the ball down the field is, is huge. And for them to just get a first down, a new set of downs, they did everything they could that time to help the quarterback out to get that first down. And he's hit immediately. From the 22-yard line, first down. Miami holds a field goal lead. Makes it to the 14. We're at play number nine of this current drive. They bring him down in the backfield. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And 
and he's taken down at the six. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And down he goes at the three yard line. We've got second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. They go with a runner. He's taken down behind the line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. 13th play of the drive coming up. The crowd of this stadium always a factor in a football game. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he adds the extra point. A 13-play, 79-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in the football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here he goes. Brought down right around the 48-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. from their own 48-yard line. It's first down. Quick pass, and he tackles him hard at the 39. Five wide. Going deep. In and out of his hands. Second and ten. Ball on the 39. He's tackled at the 30. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. And they get nice yardage on that run. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 26-yard line, first down. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. And this play is number eight on the drive. at the 28. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's 
taken down at about the 13. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Good tackle there in space. The slant pattern, good for about eight yards on the play. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Almost had it intercepted. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Touchdown, Gators! A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And you know, this game could have been on the verge of getting out of hand, so that made the touchdown even more important early on in this game. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Miami has a three-point lead. They'll work the left side. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it 33. Man left, man left. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 10-7, Hurricane. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. They can't hear a thing down there. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a game of seven yards. First down. From their own 39-yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 37. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on it. He makes it to the 38-yard line. So we're looking at another third down here. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. And he is drilled at the 48. Joyce is waiting for the snap. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. That's incomplete. 
You know, nothing makes a defensive coordinator happier than seeing a corner make a play like that. It's great technique. He's in position. He knocked that football away. And it's almost as if he's closing one side of the field down for this defense. Quick throw, and he's tackled around the 44-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. There's a strike complete. That's a great tackle at the 47. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. They'll make the sack. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Miami is up a field goal. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 17. Horton gets a carry left side. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. Joyce is the punter. And he's hammered down. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. On play action. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. That brings up second and one. And he's immediately tackled. From the 22-yard line, first down. Makes it out to about the 10. He 
makes it to the nine. From the nine yard line, second down. He makes it to the six yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 35. Level at the 14 yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. Fourth and 13. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Florida is down three and looking to tie it up. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Fires it out. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. On the counter, hit behind the line. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's taken down at the 36. First down. From their own 36-yard line. First down. Got it and brought down immediately. Number four at the tackle at the 41-yard line. That brings him second and five. And they'll bring him down behind the line. They'll line it up again on third down. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. McCormick gains about four yards there. This is the eighth play of this drive. The Hurricanes taking their first time out of the half. He's knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Here's a counter play. Knocked out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. First Tenth play of the drive. He steps out at the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Mike 17, Mike 17. Alert, 
Let's it go. Incomplete pass. This is the 12th play of this drive. Throws in a hurry. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. And here's the 14th play of the drive. And he goes down quickly. From the 12-yard line, third down. Going to the end zone, touchdown for the tight end. And he tacks on the extra point. Miami to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Tries to get around the corner. And they push him out around the 23-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Down he goes, right around the 36-yard line. Fires out to his wideout. Steps out of bounds, right around the 48-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. This is just an example of a safety reading the eyes of the quarterback and being able to get a good jump on the football to knock that away from the receiver. Quick throw. He's tackled at the 39. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Tackle at the 35. The Gators are going to call their second timeout. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35. Brought down around the 27-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. 
And he got it. A great first half comes to a close. The Hurricanes lead it by four. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. We've been looking forward to this game all week, and it has lived up to billing. A close game. You feel like that it's going to be a great second half. And boy, we've got the perfect guys in the booth. What a reward today for Nestler and Herb Street to get this game. But you know, it's not a secret, Reese. They get the best game every week that we think's on the schedule, right? So they got this grave. It's great. It's close. It's going back and forth. I mean, what a treat to watch one of the best games of the year just unfolding in front of us. And more importantly, to hear the silky smooth sounds of Kirk Herbstreit and Brad Nessler. Does it get any better? Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herbstreit's first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we've got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Kirk, you and I like seeing points. We're seeing points in this third quarter. This has been fun. And I think it's going to continue, Brad. I think the adjustments that were made at halftime have allowed these quarterbacks to go out and, and really be able to take command of how they want to attack each defense. It's going to come down to that final drive. They're set to go for another round. Miami holds a four-point lead. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Hand off to the right. Makes it out to about the 40. And they make the stop at the 42. It's second and seven. Ball on the 42. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled around the 48-yard line. it difficult. He's taken down at the 41 yard line. Jackson's on the tackle at the 41 yard line. First down. From the 41 yard line. First down. Miami is up four. to his man on the screen. Tackle made the 39-yard line. He's at the 30. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. 
That makes it second and six. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 24-yard line. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes the grab and steps out right away. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. They're going to pitch it. That's a great tackle at the 38. it out to about the 41-yard line. From their own 41-yard line, third down. He throws. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Good tackle there in space. Ball to give you two yards. That makes it second and eight. He delivers, and it's picked off. He seemed a little hesitant on that throw, and that left the defender time to break on the ball and pick it off. From their own 18-yard line, first down, Miami is up a score. Now he's scrambling. And he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. He's out to the 30. He gets to about the 34-yard line. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. And he hits him hard at the 36. Right, 
Makes the catch and look out. He gets hit out of bounds around the 49 yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49 yard line. Miami is up by a touchdown. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. He's pushed out of bounds around the 41 yard line. That makes it second and two. Throws it out, knocked loose. And this play is number eight on the drive. down in the open field. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Ward fakes the handoff. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he's taken down around the 13-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 13-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Down he goes around the four yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. It's arguably the loudest crowd in the nation, and they are turning it up a notch. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Ward. That's another touchdown pass, his third. The one thing this quarterback does a nice job of is taking what the defense gives him. He's always looking for the open target. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He fights forward to about the 26. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. They go to the ground game, and he's leveled at the 27-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike, get one, Mike, get one. Slings it. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. From their own 42 yard line. First down. Got the corner. Gets out to around the 45. He 
chucks it downfield. Caught by the sophomore. Touchdown, Florida! This offense just has so many weapons to defend. They've got some genuine playmakers. And he adds the extra point. Florida, the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This offense just torched the defense through the air with a great passing attack on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. It's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Miami is up seven. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. The crowd at this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Brought down at the 29. That's not going to move the sticks. Yeah, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting him get into any kind of rhythm. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. 27-20, Hurricane. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Quick throw, almost intercepted. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 38. Mike 51, Mike 51. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up third and six. Fires to his receiver, first down. Tackle at the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. That'll make it third and five. They'll line it up again on third down. Oh, and he can't hang on. Huge drop there. Three down, three down. 
Mike 51, Mike 51. Ready, Mike. Under pressure. Quick strike, and he drops it. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Miami up seven points. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on the 45. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's at the 40. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Receivers got the first down. Fires it out. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. From the 22-yard line, second down. And he's tackled at the 18. Power line at the 18 yard line. Third down. Right, right, right. Go down, go down. The crowd really making it difficult. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Here's the halfback. They'll get him for a loss. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking schemes. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it 37. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Oh, and almost picked off. That brings us fourth and seven. And this one is a beauty. Tackle made at the 33. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. Second, Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Yeah. 
First down grab by the receiver. They'll bring him down around the 50-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He laterals. Runs right for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. to that quickly and he's taken down at about the 21 and for Ward he hits the 300 yard mark well this quarterback has had a solid game he's done what's been asked of him and then some and even though they're comfortably in the lead it doesn't look like they're going to stop passing the ball screen to the back and he can't hold it Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. quarterback is tough as nails. Brad, he's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure or just to throw the ball before you get hit. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Miami is ready to kick it away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Less than three minutes in the game. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at about the 45. a great tackle at the 37. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. He's going to air it long. He gets another, and this is a big one. He's tackled at about the 13. It's very disappointing for this team to be down by over three possessions. But at the same time, I just think right now they're showing a lot of character and playing for pride and continuing to play until the final whistle blows. Looks to the end zone. Interception. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. From their own 20-yard line. First down. And he hits him hard at the 20. Yeah. <laughs> 
Makes it out to about the 30. That's a deal of 10. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 30. Under a minute left in the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for him. That makes it second and six. Mike 17, Mike 17. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. This one's in the books, and our final score, Miami 37, Florida 20. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.